Hey you guys, welcome back to Romance Review TV with Lady T and I got another recap for you guys. Married at First Sight UK Season 7 Episode Number 10. This episode gave us a glance into that second dinner party that, yeah, descended into a lot of chaos, especially Thomas dropping that bombshell accusing April of being a liar and the honesty box is back so before we unpack all of this take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel to receive all updates and please don't forget to like and share okay so our couples are getting ready for the second dinner party we got some issues going on between laura and richie all about a bad conversation they had that they're not speaking to each other then we got Zoe and Jenna. Um, so far, so good. They were getting ready for everything, but they still got issues over this whole vegan thing. Looks like Whitney and Duca, because Whitney has now uh, decided to move in with Duca. So they seem to have a pleasant moment. Shanita and Jordan, of course, they're doing exceptionally well. As for PJ and Jess, yeah, that's going nowhere fast. And as much as she's trying to make this happen, well, the honesty box is going to release some more of how she really feels. And then, of course, Thomas and Adrian, um, he actually did a performance for Thomas. And so that was something that went over well. As for April, who's going to be the center of attention, she's not actually coming to the dinner party because she's not feeling well. And yeah, it's interesting. I mean, hopefully she felt better, but she was part of a lot of the drama that happened at this dinner party tonight. So everybody is heading over. Um, we did get to also see um, Kwame and Kasia, you know, that we'll see. We'll talk about them later, too. So they all each individually arrive. There is Shanita. She's part of this whole drama that's happening between her, Thomas, and April, who, of course, is not going to be there. Then George comes by himself because I think they were actually waiting, especially Thomas, to hopefully see April. But he come by himself. So, of course, you know. Anyway, everybody pretty much arrived and um, everybody's looking pretty good. Uh, one thing about Richie, he came by himself. Kwame and Kasia came in holding hand in hand. And the interesting thing is what the expert says, that they look like they're a power couple united front. But there are some cracks in that relationship. Duca and Whitney arrives and of course they have a little bit more warmth between the two of them and then Lara shows up by herself because they haven't even spoken to each other and they do need to have a conversation. So now after that whole cocktail party hour everybody's pretty much settling into the whole dinner party now and you know just random banter at this point happening until that honesty box come out and it was some interesting revelations with that honesty box to say the least one thing i will say when jordan tried to give the description of the honesty box shanita kind of said a little something and i don't know if that made him feel some kind of way but he clapped back and it made her feel some kind of way jess is not taking pj at the friend zone whereas pj is singing her praises and how great of a person she is in this process and in the future seems as if jenna is not appreciative of the, the compromise that zoe has taken by adopting the vegan lifestyle that she's been doing for the last three days and because she's not appreciative that's what we saw zoe walk off as for thomas and adrian adrian admitted to thomas of how he see through his trauma through to his past and how he is the person that he is today and he accepts that part of him and how he's working through it. Jordan gives Shanita an 8 on their marriage because he feels that a 10 would be perfect. But he says always a white way to grow a marriage. On the flip side though, she didn't give him as you know positive criticism on you know the relationship. Which I think is going to boil over into the next episode. So we got to stay tuned for that. Now, let's talk about Kwame and Kasia. With these two, I mean, pretty much Kwame is saying that he's not 100% in and he don't want to have sex with someone that 
he feels that he's not that way and that's being his form of respect. As for Kasia, she delivered this whole powerful speech to everybody at the dinner party as she addressed her sex life or the lack of it with Kwame. And while, you know, she had been ready to take things to the next level, of course, you know, he hasn't. And so she gave this whole speech about, you know, you say that it's about you, 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 and you're not wanting sex. She was like, well, wait a minute, it takes two to tango. I'm this boss chick. And she went into this whole thing. There were some fans that was happy about her speech. There were some fans that wasn't. You know, and it's like, I actually myself think that not sleeping with someone who you're not really into is respectful. Why would you want somebody to use you when they really don't want to be there? On the flip side of that, we've seen that on the U.S. side on season 12, where people got upset with, you know, the person not really being involved or into that one person and the, the actual you know, consummated of the marriage happened and everybody had a fit. So which way do you want it? So, I mean, that's my thoughts on that. But we got to talk about this whole thing with April, Shanita, and Thomas. So this is where this whole dinner party kind of descends into chaos, where we hear Thomas accusing April of being a liar. So the drama went into this whole situation because of the fact that it was some he say, she say stuff going on where Shanita had found out that she thought that Thomas was being one way in her face and then saying stuff behind her back where she ended up calling him, you know, like this whole snake and being two-faced. On the flip side, Thomas sat Shanita down to clear the air and explain his side of the story. So he went on talking about, well, this is what I heard, and I don't want to say this really. April was crying. I went into the bathroom to console her. And the minute, you know, we go in there, she says Shanita is a B and that you were feeding information outside of this group. But my purpose now is to tell you I don't give a F about what anyone says. I have not said anything about you. It was April. I don't care what anyone says. That's my truth. And, you know, Thomas was like, your name should have never been brought up because you're really this lovely, lovely, beautiful woman. And he apologized. Now, Shanita pointed out, but then now it's like, why has April said this? I'm a bit like WTF. That's what she was saying. And, you know, Thomas was like, I'm telling the truth. It's a weird situation. And the fact that she was not there, April's husband's George decided to get involved in this whole situation where he don't like the fact where he's talking behind his wife back. And so, you know, Shanita filled George in. Apparently, you know, um, the whole conversation came from your wife, April. And George was like, we need to end this conversation right here. She's not here to defend herself. I don't even know any of the details. So the conversation ends. Well, he tried to end that conversation also with Thomas. And yeah, when he tried to do that, you know, Thomas snapped. You know, he was like, someone has lied and my name has been dragged into it. I've given my truth. Now, whether you believe that or not, it's entirely up to you. And, you know, it's just crazy. So, yeah, it. It's unfortunate that, you know, April was sick. She wasn't able to be at that dinner party with all this ruckus going on. But she's in the middle of it. And the only person that can clarify that is her. And I will say I do like the fact that George wanted to say, hey, let's just stop the conversation right here until everybody else is in the room. We can all sit down and we can hash this out and talk about it. And I agree with him because all this back and forth with the main person missing is just... It's just not going to work. You need everybody at the table to be on the same page. Okay, so let's get the conversation started down in the comment section. I really appreciate all of your comments on the UK recap version. I've been checking them out. What do you think? What do you think about the whole thing that Kwame said? I mean, do you find that he's being respectful or dismissive in regards to the fact that because he's not 100% in with the whole marriage situation with Kasia, that he's not sleeping with her, that's being respectful? 
What do you think about this drama around April Thomas and Shanita? The he say, she say. And was George actually doing the right thing by shutting the conversation down so everybody can be at the table in the same room to hash this out? Let me know your thoughts. So until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you soon. Bye.